If you wish you were waking up early, working out daily and learning daily for endless hours without procrastinating, this video found you. Today I will explain how I literally got rid of procrastinating in two simple steps. So here's how to start. First of all, you need to know what you want to achieve. In other words, what are your goals? Let's find out. Reflect on your strengths, weaknesses and areas where you want to improve. Then write down on the paper what you imagine your habits to look like. What do you imagine working on daily? Refine your goals by making them smart, specific, measurable, so that you can track progress, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Once we know what our goals are, you need to break them in small, actionable steps. For example, so you want to become a millionaire, okay, but how? So your goal should be something like programming apps, so it would be like learn how to program, uh, learn how to, I don't know, work out because your mental health is important and you'll probably spend a lot of time behind your desk. There could also be something like researching the market, so like marketing stuff and really getting into the marketing things. So that would be three goals you need to focus on. How are you going to do that? So for example, in the marketing area, it could be I'm going to watch a couple of videos, like three videos a day on marketing from this YouTuber because he has really good strategies or for the programming it could be today I'm gonna learn how to program a calculator so it's really these little steps the daily habits you need to have in order to become a millionaire and I also recommend creating sort of a schedule where you can really mark what you've already done because that keeps you motivated and that keeps you going set realistic and achievable targets because we tend to make way bigger goals than we are capable of at the beginning for example if you set a goal for yourself when you've never ever worked out before that you want to work out for an hour a day that is probably not something you want to go with from the start and of course you need deadlines so as i mentioned for example if you want to program one little app a day that would be like lots of work probably but um let's say that's your goal so it would be working on programming from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. That is a specific goal because there is a timeline and you also say to yourself, okay, I'm going to program from this to that time. It makes you wake up and just do the thing. And it's not like you say to yourself, oh, I, I will become a programmer one day. Uh, maybe I'll start tomorrow because that doesn't work. So the second step is having a routine. But don't worry, though I myself hate routines, this is gonna be fun. Before we start, you need to be aware of the Pareto principle. It states that for many outcomes, 80% of consequences come from 20% of causes, which practically means that 80% of your results come from 20% of your actions. And that means you should identify your core actions for the day. So I want you to evaluate your current lifestyle and really think about where you can make improvements or where are some time gaps you could use to improve yourself or really habits that you wish to replace with something else that would help you to achieve the goal. You're also going to need a schedule and that is really important because as I mentioned, when you have something in your mind but there is no specific timeline for it, you're never gonna get it done. You could be having this thought in your head for years saying to yourself, oh, one day I want to go to another country or something, but if there is no timeline, you're never gonna get it done, probably. If some, if something from, you know, your environment doesn't push you, like, for example, your grandma taking you on a trip, you would never done it yourself. This is an example of my own schedule that I use daily. I basically, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I wrote down my goals. The app, by the way, is called Routinary. This is not sponsored. I just genuinely like the app and I think it could help you, so... And really make sure that your schedule is adjustable because sometimes in the past when I created schedules and I couldn't get them done, for example, my friends called me, oh, you want to hang out? And I really wanted to, but that would mean I couldn't accomplish my schedule. I would get really sad and angry about it. Just be open to changes, be open to adjusting things and maybe leave some time gaps between the days so that you can fill it in. If you have an emergency coming up, emergency, you know, you need to hang out with friends or something, whatever it is. Don't expect your routines to be 100% perfect. Reflect and adjust. Regularly look at your routine and if you see patterns of, for example, in the past two weeks you couldn't accomplish something in 
a time period, it might be assigned to adjust it and maybe recreate it so that you can get things done and not get sad over not completing it. This is perfectly fine and please don't punish yourself for not being capable of, I don't know, working for eight hours straight because from the beginning it can be really harsh and I'm not surprised, like I would probably die by that time. Like I had this hype one day that I created a schedule for myself to work for eight hours straight without a break and I was like, oh my god, I can, I can pull this, I can do this. But guess what? I got so sad after being demotivated and I never came back to that routine again and I only burned out. Please don't do that. <laughs> um, by the way, about the Routine Era app, I really like that it keeps you on the track. Like it doesn't allow you to keep procrastinating because there is a timer. And once you start it at the beginning of the day, it doesn't stop. And you just have to keep going because once the time is up, it stresses you so much that you rather continue with your routine instead of scrolling through social media or procrastinating in another way. And I really needed something that would push me to not have time to procrastinate or like feel guilty about <laughs> procrastinating. And this app is so good. It helped me immensely. I guarantee it's gonna help you pass on procrastinating as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Have a beautiful day and bye.